It has a diameter of over 100,000 light years and is home to an estimated 200 billion stars. But what do we really know about our home galaxy, the Milky Way? Well, apparently you never stop learning, even on your own galactic doorstep. In fact, in recent months, experts have gathered a series of spectacular insights that shed a whole new light on the Milky Way. And this even starts with a very fundamental point. After all, the latest data suggests that we have been categorizing the Milky Way all wrong this whole time. But that's not all. In the same breath, astronomers have also discovered a gigantic 16,000 light-year structure in our home galaxy, and found out that the bizarre gravitational monster at its center has been through something that impressively demonstrates the primal forces of the cosmos to us. To get started, here's a little quiz question. Why is the Milky Way actually called the Milky Way? Well, the fact that our galactic home still has the word milk in its name is thanks to the ancient Greeks. According to an ancient myth, when we look at the starry night sky, we see nothing other than the spilled breast milk of the goddess Hera, a milky pattern that applies not only to our own galaxy but to all galaxies. After all, the ancient Greek root galaxies means nothing other than milk. But if we now detach ourselves from ancient mythology and instead take a look at the astronomical facts, we recognize that the supposed milk of the gods is in fact nothing more than star clusters interspersed with light and dark nebulae. However, since we are located in the middle of the Milky Way with our Earth, it's in the nature of things that this milky band, which rises in the southern sky on clear summer nights, by no means represents the whole but merely a small section of our galaxy. From our point of view, it's simply not possible to see the Milky Way in its entirety. But despite this, astronomers have in the past been able to draw a general picture of our home galaxy. The Milky Way is classified as a barred spiral galaxy, with five of the eponymous loose spiral arms, two of which we can see in the sky. Furthermore, the diameter of the Milky Way is estimated at 100,000 light-years, although apart from its center, it is only 3,000 light-years thick. And while the thickness of the aforementioned center is about 16,000 light-years, the actual heart of our galaxy appears invisible to our earthly eyes. This is due to the numerous dark clouds that put natural blinders on us with their interstellar matter. But despite all the visual barriers, it is now considered certain that a full-grown monster lurks at the core of the Milky Way. After all, Sagittarius A star is a supermassive black hole with more than 4 million solar masses. Contrary to what you might think, this is not a galactic exception, but rather the rule. In fact, experts now assume that almost every galaxy center is adorned by such a supermassive gravity monster. When it comes to the much smaller stellar black holes, which arise from collapsing stars, experts estimate that there are around 100 million of these bizarre formations in the Milky Way. When it comes to the number of stars, however, astronomers' estimates sometimes differ significantly. While some believe that our home galaxy has only 100 billion stars, others suspect that it's home to as many as 400 billion blazingly bright celestial bodies. And given that data from the Kepler mission and other studies suggest that there are on average one to two planets per star, there could be between 100 to 800 billion planetary worlds in the Milky Way. But not every one of these planets resembles a cosmic twin of the Earth, which is obvious. And yet, in 2022, researchers from Nottingham determined that as many as 36 advanced civilizations could have developed in our galactic home system misidentifications and gigantic magnetic halos. Just as in the case of the Earth and the solar system, the Milky Way is not a galactic loner either, but an integral part of much larger, overarching structures. On the one hand, the Milky Way belongs to the local group, and thus to a galaxy cluster that has about 35 members. On the other hand, the local group is itself part of the Virgo supercluster, a supercluster of galaxies that is itself part of the Laniakea supercluster. In other words, the local group, including the Milky Way, is subject to the influence of the colossal Laniakea supercluster, or at least that's what we thought until now. A new map of the gravitational catchment areas in the local cosmos now suggests that we have been misplacing our galactic home all this time, and that it actually does not belong to the Laniakea supercluster at all 
but to the much larger Shapley supercluster. In principle, such attractors act as gravitational wells, drawing galaxies towards them over a wide area, just as the nature of a landscape determines the course of a river. The study that had assigned the local group to the Laniakea supercluster was based on 8,000 galaxies, but the new study, which the experts conducted on the basis of data from the Cosmic Flows 4 survey, included 56,000 galaxies within a radius of around 1 billion light years. And where the new wealth of information is significantly more extensive than the old, it ultimately led to the discovery that a total of 17 large gravitational wells lurk in our cosmic neighborhood, and that the flows associated with the Milky Way prefer to move towards the Shapley supercluster. Expressed in figures, this means that almost 60% of the structures are flowing towards the Shapley supercluster, which in the case of the Laniakea supercluster is only 40%. All in all, this finding provides astronomers with completely new insights into the gravitational landscape of our local universe. But the phenomenon recently identified by experts at the ends of the Milky Way bar is also completely new. Because in fact, we now know that gigantic magnetic structures over 16,000 light years long originate there, rising far above and below the plane of the galaxy. In the same breath, the special origin of these magnetic filaments also provides a decisive clue to their cause. Since they do not originate from the galactic center, but rather from the outer zones of active star formation, scientists suspect that we are dealing with the result of a supernova collision. In fact, the collective effect of overlapping stellar explosions can eject material at speeds of up to 1,000 kilometers per second, creating the galactic winds. At the same time, the stellar fireworks could be responsible not only for the magnetic filaments, but also for the no less powerful radio structures, which also extend far beyond the stellar disk of our home galaxy. The Crash of the Giants – How Sagittarius A Star Merged with Another Black Hole Caution, risk of confusion. Although there is a supermassive black hole lurking at the heart of the Milky Way, as mentioned above, it is not a quasar. That term is used for active galactic nuclei that emit tremendous amounts of energy and even outshine all the stars in their home galaxy. Sagittarius A star, on the other hand, has long since entered into cosmic retirement. And today, only the gigantic bubbles and chimneys of gases and gamma rays bear witness to its former activity. But despite all inactivity, our supermassive black hole continues to keep the experts on their toes. The observations and data of the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT for short, have revealed that the mass monster is rotating at an astonishing speed and is also tilted against the plane of the galaxy. Conversely, however, this finding is also linked to a real astronomical problem. Because if the data are correct, they are in stark contradiction to our models of the growth of supermassive black holes. These models suggest that the bizarre giants draw from the material of their own host galaxy and thus move at about the same speed and at the same level as it. To find out why Sagittarius A star is now breaking this pattern, the researchers have once again combed through the EHT data in more detail and simulated several scenarios based on it. The aim was to determine which evolutionary history could best explain the current characteristics. And at the end of the research series, an astonishing result was obtained. Since the usual accretion models are not sufficient to explain the observed properties, the astronomers came to the conclusion that Sagittarius A star must have collided and merged with another massive black hole in the distant past. In this regard, the reconstruction showed that the collision partner had about 25% of the mass of Sagittarius A star and was almost perpendicular to it. And although the Milky Way's black hole was four times more massive than its counterpart, the merger had a significant impact. The incorporation of the smaller partner, which had previously graced the center of a dwarf galaxy, dramatically changed the speed and rotational alignment of Sagittarius A star. At the same time, the smaller galaxy moved perpendicular to the Milky Way and probably rotated in the opposite direction. What's more, the data even reveals when exactly the merger of the black holes must have taken place, and it's perfectly consistent with the already known history of our home galaxy. According to this, the Milky Way collided with the dwarf galaxy Gaia Enceladus about 10 billion years ago. In detail, 
The galactic mass ratio in this case was also 4 to 1. In addition, the merger had an inclination of 145 to 180 degrees in relation to our line of sight. In other words, the galactic close encounter 10 billion years ago had exactly the same characteristics that can best explain the behavior of Sagittarius A star today. The bottom line is that the two black holes collided with each other about a billion years after the galaxy merger. And after the waves of cosmic tumult had subsided, the rotation speed and inclination of Sagittarius A star approached their present values. This exciting discovery is further evidence of the dynamic, primal events underlying the present structure of our home world. Well, at least in theory. In practice, the merger of two supermassive black holes has not yet been directly observed. However, experts hope that this will change in the foreseeable future. And that's when gravitational wave detectors like the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna will be able to detect and examine the Dance of the Giants. And if you search below our video, you can see the Dance of the Thumb and the Subscribe button. Press the Like and Subscribe buttons now so you never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.